Welcome, gents. Life isn't designed to make things easy for anyone, especially not for a Sigma male. You walk a path that's different from most, a road less traveled. It's not about blending in or following the rules. Your strength lies in being the outlier, the one who sees things others don't. But this path requires sharp instincts and lessons learned early. If you're going to thrive, you need to understand a few hard truths right away. This isn't about motivational fluff or easy shortcuts. It's about equipping yourself with real, raw insights that will shape the way you approach everything, relationships, success, setbacks, and even failure. What you learn early can set the tone for the rest of your life, so these aren't just tips. They're survival strategies for a Sigma male in a world that may never fully understand you. But then again, being understood was never your goal, was it? So gents, Stay with me until we reach the final point, and be sure to drop your thoughts in the comments. Number 14. You can't save anyone from themselves. One of the hardest truths to accept is that you can't save people from themselves. No matter how much you care, no matter how much potential you see in someone, if they're not willing to change, grow, or help themselves, you'll only end up exhausted. Empathy is a beautiful quality, but it becomes a trap when you pour all your energy into trying to fix someone who doesn't want to be fixed. You're not responsible for other people's growth, especially when they're actively resisting it. The problem with trying to save someone is that it usually backfires. Instead of pulling them up, they tend to pull you down. You'll start feeling drained, frustrated, and ultimately resentful. And the harsh truth? They'll often stay the same while you're left depleted. People can only change when they decide to, on their own terms, in their own time. Knowing when to walk away isn't cold-hearted. It's necessary. There's nothing wrong with wanting to help, but there's a fine line between being supportive and being someone's emotional crutch. At some point, you have to recognize that it's not your job to carry someone else's baggage. You can offer guidance, but they have to be willing to carry their own weight. Learn to set boundaries. Walk away from people who refuse to grow, not because you don't care, but because you care enough about yourself to stop letting their issues consume you. Number 13. Your mind will play tricks on you. Trust patterns, not feelings. Your mind can be your greatest ally or your worst enemy. It will often play tricks on you, convincing you to act based on fleeting emotions. One minute you're confident and clear-headed and the next doubt or fear creeps in and clouds everything. Feelings are tricky that way. One bad day, one unexpected setback, and your whole mindset can shift. But if you let emotions guide your decisions, you're setting yourself up for mistakes. Instead, focus on patterns. While feelings come and go, patterns are consistent. They reveal the truth about people's behavior, your own habits, and the world around you. If you learn to recognize these patterns, you gain clarity and control. You'll start to see that what people do repeatedly says more about them than what they claim in the heat of the moment. And in your own life, the actions you take regularly say far more about where you're headed than any burst of motivation or frustration ever will. Trusting patterns means stepping back from the noise in your head and looking at the bigger picture. Did you fail today? That's a feeling. But if you're consistently showing up and putting in the work, that's a pattern that leads to success. Is someone's apology making you feel better? That's a feeling. But if they keep repeating the same behavior, that's a pattern of disrespect. Feelings may be loud, but patterns tell the real story. Learn to trust them, and you'll make better decisions every time. Number 12. People don't want you to grow. They want you to stay predictable. People love to keep you in a box. They're comfortable when they can predict you when you fit neatly into the version of yourself they've come to expect. The moment you start growing, whether that's leveling up in your career, shifting your mindset, or breaking old habits, people will push back. Not because they want to see you fail, but because your growth makes them uncomfortable. It challenges their understanding of who you are, and more often than not, it forces them to reflect on their own stagnation. When you evolve, it disrupts the dynamics. Friends who are used to you playing a certain role might feel threatened. Family might question why you've changed or try to guilt you into staying the same. But the truth is, most of that resistance comes from fear. 
fear that they'll lose the version of you they're used to or that they'll have to change to keep up. They don't want you to grow because your growth shakes up their world, but your evolution is not something to apologize for. You're not here to fit anyone's expectations or to remain predictable for the comfort of others. Growth is about breaking those chains and becoming who you're meant to be, regardless of how it makes others feel. People will try to pull you back into the familiar, into who you were, but your journey is forward. Let them be uncomfortable. Your growth is non-negotiable, and you owe it to yourself to keep evolving without holding back. Number 11. Expect betrayal. It's inevitable. Betrayal is one of those things people never want to think about, but it's inevitable. At some point, someone you trust will turn on you. It might be a close friend, a partner, or even someone you thought was an ally. But here's the truth. People will often betray you when your growth, success, or presence begins to unsettle their sense of comfort or security. It's not about some dramatic betrayal that happens out of nowhere. It's usually subtle, creeping in when you least expect it. The thing is, you can't act surprised when it happens. Betrayal is as much a part of life as anything else. It's not a matter of if, but when. People are driven by their own interests, insecurities, and fears, and when they feel threatened, they might act in ways that go against you. This doesn't mean you should live in paranoia or distrust everyone. Instead, it's about being realistic and understanding that betrayal is part of the human experience. What matters is how you handle it. Expect it but don't let it destroy your faith in yourself. Betrayal hurts, but it also reveals people's true colors. When it comes, don't waste time being shocked or asking why. Accept it, learn from it, and keep moving forward. It's just another part of life's test to see how well you can adapt, grow stronger, and continue on your path without letting others' actions derail you. Thank you for being a valued subscriber, gents. Your ongoing support is greatly appreciated and motivates us to continue creating meaningful content. We truly value your engagement. Number 10. You will never be fully understood. Get comfortable with that. You will never be fully understood, and that's something you need to come to terms with. It's tempting to want people to see you exactly as you are, to grasp your thoughts and feelings completely. But that level of understanding is unrealistic. Everyone has their own perspectives, experiences, and biases that shape how they see the world. No matter how well you articulate your feelings or share your story, there will always be aspects of yourself that others simply won't grasp. This reality can feel isolating, especially in a society that often emphasizes connection and community. You might find yourself in crowded rooms surrounded by people who think they know you, yet you still feel alone. Instead of seeking validation or understanding from others, learn to embrace the solitude that comes with being unique. Standing alone doesn't mean you're lonely, it means you're authentic. When you stop chasing the approval or comprehension of others, you free yourself from the burden of expectation. You can live more genuinely, making choices that resonate with who you truly are rather than what others want you to be. Being misunderstood is part of the journey. It allows you to carve your own path and stand firm in your beliefs, except that not everyone will get you, and that's perfectly okay. It's your life to live, not theirs to interpret. Find strength in your individuality and let it guide you, even when it feels like no one is beside you. Number 9. The world is a battlefield, not a playground. The world isn't built to offer you anything on a silver platter. Every corner you turn, there's a challenge waiting to see if you're paying attention if you're strong enough to handle it. This isn't a game where you can sit back and expect rewards just for showing up. It's a battlefield, and only those who move with purpose, who think several steps ahead, survive and thrive. When you see life for what it truly is, a place where strategy is everything, everything you do starts to shift. You stop treating relationships casually because you understand that every connection is either building or breaking you. You approach your work with a mindset that goes beyond the surface. You're not just working to get by. You're thinking about how each task, each effort, fits into the bigger picture. Every goal you set, you map it out with the precision of someone preparing for a battle, knowing full well that nothing worth having will come easy. This isn't about being cold or ruthless. It's about being realistic. 
In a world where distractions, obstacles, and setbacks are constant, only the ones who move deliberately with a clear strategy get to where they're aiming. The rest? They fall to the side, consumed by the chaos they failed to navigate. Understand this early and you'll stop wasting time on what doesn't matter and focus entirely on winning the battles that do. Number 8. You don't owe anyone an explanation for your decisions. The moment you start explaining your decisions, you give others power over your life. Society loves to question anything that doesn't fit into its mold, but you don't owe anyone an explanation. Every move you make, every choice you stick by is part of a bigger strategy, your strategy. People who don't understand where you're going or why you're doing what you do will always try to drag you into a conversation that's not worth having. They want you to justify your actions, not because they care, but because they don't like what they can't control or predict. Explaining yourself to people who lack your vision is not only a waste of time, it's actually harmful. It pulls you into a mindset of seeking approval or validation from those who aren't aligned with your goals. They're looking through a different lens, one that's often limited, and the more you engage, the more you dilute your focus. Your energy should be spent moving forward, not convincing others that you're on the right path. The right people, those who truly understand or respect your vision won't need explanations. They'll get it, or they'll trust you enough to know you're making the right moves for yourself. So resist the urge to explain. Let your results speak for you. The fewer explanations you give, the more you reinforce that your life is yours alone to navigate. Number 7. Your worst days will be the ones that shape you the most. Your worst days will shape you in ways that your best ones never will. When everything seems to fall apart, that's when you learn the most about yourself and what you're truly capable of. Don't focus solely on chasing happiness. Instead, embrace every experience that life throws your way, especially the tough ones. Those moments of struggle can feel overwhelming, but they often carry the most important lessons. When you face challenges, you discover your strength, resilience, and determination. It's in the darkness that your true character emerges. You learn how to navigate adversity, adapt to change, and keep moving forward despite the obstacles. These experiences are crucial because they teach you how to handle setbacks without losing sight of who you are. Every scar tells a story, and each struggle adds depth to your narrative. While society pushes the idea that happiness is the ultimate goal, it's the hard days that truly prepare you for the journey ahead. Embracing your struggles will help you build a solid foundation for your future. When you can look back at those tough times and recognize how they've transformed you, you'll realize that they weren't just obstacles, they were stepping stones. So instead of fearing your darkest days, lean into them. Accept that they are a part of your growth. In the end, it's not about avoiding hardship. It's about understanding that these experiences are what make you unique and powerful. Number 6. No one is truly self-made, but you can be self-forged. No one is truly self-made. We all stand on the shoulders of others. Every success story has a backdrop of support, friends, mentors, or even random encounters that sparked inspiration. However, it's important to realize that while you didn't get to where you are on your own, the power to forge your path lies entirely in your hands. You can take the raw material of your experiences and, through hard work and determination, shape it into something meaningful. Self-forging is about taking control of your narrative. It means recognizing who in your life genuinely supports you and who simply tries to manipulate your choices. Some people will encourage you to grow while others will impose their expectations, trying to steer you in directions that serve them rather than you. Acknowledging this difference is crucial. To be self-forged means embracing your agency. You have the ability to take challenges and setbacks and use them as tools for your own development. Every failure, every lesson learned adds to your strength. It's not just about success, it's about building resilience. So be deliberate in your choices. Surround yourself with those who uplift you and challenge you to be better. Use the experiences, good and bad, as a forge for your character. With each decision, you're not just moving through life. You're actively crafting your identity and your future. In the end, while no one is entirely self-made, 
you can absolutely be self-forged. Number 5. People will try to diminish your confidence. Weaponize it. People will try to diminish your confidence, especially when they sense you're standing tall and self-sufficient. It's a strange truth that confidence can provoke insecurity in others, leading them to downplay your achievements or belittle your abilities. They may make snide comments or offer helpful advice, all while trying to undermine the strength you've built. Don't let their attempts shake your resolve. Instead, use that energy to fuel your confidence even more. When someone feels threatened by your self-assuredness, it's a reflection of their own insecurities, not your worth. Instead of succumbing to their negativity, recognize it for what it is, a weapon they're trying to use against you. You have the power to turn that around. Weaponizing your confidence means embracing it fully and refusing to let others dictate how you feel about yourself. Stand firm in your achievements and the qualities that make you unique. Each time someone tries to chip away at your self-esteem, use it as motivation to push harder, strive further, and shine brighter. The more confident you become, the more you'll attract both admiration and envy. Those who attack your confidence are often the ones who fear their own lack of it. So, let their attempts at undermining you fuel your fire. Wear your confidence like armor. It's not just a part of you, it's your strongest weapon. Embrace it and use it to propel yourself forward, undeterred by those who wish to see you falter. Number 4. Never apologize for ambition, but don't broadcast it either. Ambition is a powerful force that can propel you toward greatness, but it's essential to handle it with care. Never apologize for your ambition, it's a part of who you are. Embrace it, but be mindful of how you express it. There's a fine line between being ambitious and being boastful. When you make loud declarations about your goals, you risk inviting unnecessary scrutiny and criticism. Instead, let your actions speak for themselves. The most impactful moves often happen behind the scenes. When you work quietly and diligently, you build a solid foundation for your ambitions without attracting distractions or negativity. There's strength in restraint. By keeping your ambitions under wraps, you give yourself the space to grow and evolve without the pressure of external expectations. This approach allows you to refine your ideas, develop your skills, and strategize your next steps without feeling the need to justify yourself to others. When the time is right, your achievements will naturally draw attention, and you won't need to broadcast your ambitions because the results will speak for themselves. So focus on the journey rather than the chatter. Channel your energy into the pursuit of your goals with quiet confidence. By doing this, you can forge ahead creating a powerful legacy while remaining true to yourself, all without the noise that often accompanies ambition. On number three, happiness is overrated. Freedom is the real goal. Happiness is often touted as the ultimate goal in life, but pursuing it can lead to a never-ending cycle of disappointment. We're bombarded with messages that we should always be happy, that we should chase after fleeting moments of joy. But this relentless pursuit can leave us feeling more trapped than fulfilled. When we focus solely on happiness, we often find ourselves conforming to societal norms and expectations just to fit in or please others. The truth is, freedom is the real prize. It's about having the power to make your own choices, live life on your terms, and define success for yourself. Imagine waking up each day without the pressure to chase after what others deem important. When you prioritize freedom, you start to let go of the superficial measures of happiness that society pushes on you. Instead of seeking out short-lived pleasures, focus on creating a life that reflects your values and passions. This might mean making sacrifices in the short term, but the long-term liberation you gain is worth it. Freedom allows you to pursue meaningful experiences and relationships that resonate with who you truly are. It frees you from the constant need for validation and the anxiety of fitting into someone else's mold. In the end, when you choose freedom over happiness, you cultivate a deeper sense of fulfillment that goes beyond mere moments of joy, creating a life that is truly yours. Number two, the world will never make sense. Stop trying to understand it. The world can often feel chaotic and unpredictable, and one of the biggest traps you can fall into is trying to make sense of it all. People's actions can be baffling, they often act out of fear, insecurity, or emotion, 
which rarely follows a logical pattern. If you spend your energy trying to decipher why someone reacted a certain way or why a situation unfolded as it did, you'll only end up frustrated. When you let go of the need for understanding, you free yourself from the weight of confusion and disappointment. Life doesn't come with a manual, and attempting to find reason in the irrational will only slow you down. Instead, embrace the chaos. Accept that people are complex and unpredictable. The moment you stop expecting rationality from others, you'll find that you can navigate through life with greater ease and clarity. You'll be less likely to take things personally or get caught up in someone else's drama. This newfound freedom allows you to focus on what truly matters, your goals, your growth, and your well-being. Life is too short to waste on trying to rationalize every interaction or event. Embrace the unpredictability, learn from your experiences, and move forward without being held back by the nonsense around you. The sooner you accept that the world will never fully make sense, the more empowered you'll become to live life on your terms unburdened by the chaos. Number 1. Authenticity is rarely rewarded, but it's non-negotiable. Being authentic sounds great in theory, but the reality is often disappointing. People say they want honesty, originality, and transparency, but the truth is most can't handle it when they see it. The world rewards conformity. Those who follow the crowd, who fit neatly into the boxes others have built for them. So when you choose to live authentically, don't expect applause. In fact, be prepared for silence or even worse, criticism. But here's the thing. Your authenticity is not for sale. It's not something you compromise just to get approval or acceptance. You're not here to fit into someone else's version of success or happiness. The strength of being your true self lies in the fact that it's non-negotiable. Sure, people might not celebrate it now and you might feel out of place when the world seems to reward those who play it safe, but your path isn't about short-term wins. Validation comes in many forms, and often it shows up when you least expect it. It may not come from the crowd, but from the deep sense of self-respect and inner peace that arises when you know you're living on your terms. Over time, those who can't handle your authenticity will fade away, and the right people, opportunities and rewards will find their way to you. Stay true to yourself, because in the end, that's the only thing that truly matters. Thank you, gents, for tuning in and stay safe. God bless.